you know, not, not too much to say. Obviously, you guys watched that. And, and the one thing we've talked about all the time is playing clean baseball. We didn't throw strikes. Uh, we didn't play good defense. Um, we, we had some battle and some fight in us. Uh, we had some quality of bats. Uh, we, we put up a number of hits. I thought there was a couple times offensively where we came up empty. Um, but at the end of the day, you can't give a club like that that many outs. We didn't have one, one, two, three inning the entire game. Uh, and so when you do that and you have the crowd on their side and momentum gets going, uh, it's tough to put yourself in a position where you can walk out of here and win a ball game. Uh, and we had an opportunity to do so. Uh, and that's kind of what I told our guys at the end of the game. It's, it's nothing. I'm taking no credit away from what Mississippi State did. But we didn't make them work too hard for that win. Um, we, 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 if we're throwing strikes and playing defense, uh, there's a lot of things that are different there. Okay, we'll go ahead and get questions for uh, the student athletes. Again, Carmen's got the microphone. We'll go here to Robbie here in the third row uh, to the right. Shot, you had three hits. You guys had a pretty good approach all day against those pitchers. How did you feel like you all uh, handled things at the plate? 11 hits, 86 runs, and uh, had, a, had a couple of big innings as well. Um, I think we did pretty decent. I, I think we left some guys on base still, but as a whole, we could have been better. Go ahead and get it to the back with uh, Steve in the center in the black hat. Jim, you guys uh, had an opportunity there to really kind of break through, and it seemed like, as Coach said, you had the, the, the E4 there to kind of open the floodgates there. What's the mood like in the dugout after that inning? Uh, I mean, we are never down on ourselves. We always lift each other up. So, I mean, it wasn't uh, negative energy, but um, we just were just trying to battle back. And, I mean, I think that uh, we all had each other back. So, I mean, the mood was still positive. Again, questions for the student athletes. We'll get the microphone to you. Go ahead and get it to this gentleman here in the front with the green wine shirt. Just ask the players, uh, you know, uh, did you feel at any point that you took the, the crowd out of the game? Because sometimes it got pretty quiet. You, know, you guys score some runs, and, and I guess that's important when you're playing on the road, especially in the big crowd. Can talk about that a little bit? Shanti, we'll start with you. Um, it was exciting to hear the crowd. Uh, the, yeah, the whole game they were they were on me. So, I mean, I didn't I didn't think we took them out completely. I think they were just waiting on their moment. But yeah, they, I think they were there. Uh, to be honest. Uh, I think we took them out just a little bit. Uh, I have, we had them on the heels just a little bit, and I feel like uh, if we would have just done better one of the, one of the innings, I want to say the fifth, then I think it would have been completely silent. But other than that, it was a great atmosphere to play in, so we are really grateful for just, uh, just to play in that atmosphere. Go ahead and get it to the back of the camera wells, the gentleman from WAFB, Baton Rouge. Jamie, how were you were 23 for three, you ended up maybe four for four, I can't remember there. Uh, how were you able to find success? What was working so well for you? Um, just following my coach's uh, list, get a good pitch to hit, be on time, put a good swing on it. Um, I was just picking one side of the plate and uh, just rocking with it, and then I was able to get pitches there, and I was just able to make the most of it. That's all. We've got time for a couple more questions for the student-athletes. We'll get the microphone to you. We'll stay back in the back of the camera rolls, and then we'll head up here to the front row. Uh, question for both athletes. Um, you guys talk about confidence all the time, be able to put as many runs and hit as well as you guys did against this team. Does that give you guys extra confidence, I guess, heading into an elimination game like this? Um, I think what, what, I, what I try to go out and do every day is just to have fun. Not try to put too much onto it, just to go out and do my best. Uh, to be honest, I think our confidence is already there. We understand that we can hit any type of pitching, we just have to be on time. So I think that uh, it probably helped our confidence just a little bit, but we already had confidence coming into this game. Uh, Shanti, two-part question for you. First thing you said, uh, the fans are having some fun with you. Mm -hmm. Give you a sense of what they what they said and, 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 and what and their comments towards you. And secondly, you played and you defeated uh, LSU this year. Can you compare them and to what type of team you think this is going to stay has? So first of all, um, so I would in between um, in between pitches, I'd take my glove off and put it on my head, <coughs> and they just heckle me about that. And then, um, what was the second part of your question? I'm sorry. The LSU. The LSU. So, when we played LSU at home the first time, I think uh, our starters only stayed in for a couple of innings because we didn't do well that game. So, And I can't really give you what those fans were. And, and then there was a midweek game, so it wasn't as packed either. I'm talking about the team. Compared to team, LSU and Mississippi State, what type of team? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, um, they're both really good teams. Uh, they both hit well. They play defense well. I think they're in the same area. Any other questions for the student athletes before we let them go and take questions for coach?
All right, we'll do one more with Reggie, and we'll let the players go after that. Uh, back in the camera rolls over here in the gold shirt. Uh, Coach always talks about playing clean baseball. I mean, in a game like this where you guys had so many opportunities, and the, uh, I guess, chance for the margin was kind of slim, um, is it disappointing for you guys to, I guess, have some of those errors and some of those little smaller mistakes and it could be both, both happens? Um, yeah, I, I, it's a little disappointing. But we're going to come out tomorrow and do our best again. I mean, it's always disappointing, you know, whenever you have errors because you work on that, especially the ones that you can control. But, I mean, we trust in our guys all the time, so I think that they'll be able to bounce back. So we just play hard tomorrow. Thank you, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll go ahead and get going here with questions for Coach. Go ahead and start here in the front. You know, baseball is kind of an often game of momentum and momentum shifts. Uh, and the, you know, after they uh, uh, was the league in seven, you guys came out and walk and double, nobody out. Can you talk about that stage of the game and what happened in that sequence after? Yeah, you know, I think, you know, like you said, um, <laughs> my guys uh, tease me about it because I talk about momentum is, is not something that really existed. Momentum is more about one team playing bad and the other team playing good at that time. Um, so, but I think for us, um, we, we have that battling mentality. Uh, and, and like I said, we missed some opportunities there to come up big. Uh, and, and I think we push one or two across. Again, these guys aren't going to put in their, their own stadium. But at the same time, we push a couple more across and we create a bigger margin for ourselves. Um, I think we relax a little bit more and, and they get a little bit tight. Because when you're in that environment, when it's winter go home and you're the number one seed and you're playing the number four seed and all of a sudden you got punched in the nose, again, I don't think there was any panic in that dugout. Yeah. But if we get to the seventh, eighth inning, and it's, there might be a little tightness. So, um, and that's what I told our guys at the end is that um, we didn't we didn't play clean. We talked about again throwing strikes, playing defense, quality of bats. Uh, I'll say that we did one of the three. Um, and against a team like this, you can't do that. You have to do all three. We'll go ahead to the uh, back and the gentleman in the center, Steve in the black the back black shirt. Coach, uh, you guys answered it seemed like every time until the final time there. Was there ever a moment where you just kind of felt like the game was slipping away? Not really, just because of the way that, that we've battled all year. Um, I think uh, if there was any moment where um, I kind of saw uh, a little of the wind out of our sails was uh, when Ashanti led off there in the ninth. Um, the, the, the swings were overly aggressive, uh, as if he was trying to hit a five-run home run. Uh, and, uh, and there it was, you know, now they're putting that pressure on themselves to be the man in that situation. We talked all year long about, I don't need anybody to be a hero. I just need you to go up and do what you're supposed to do, do your job. Um, and so at that point, that's where I kind of felt like, eh, um, I don't, you know, we might be trying to do too much here in this situation. And then you add the crowd to it, and, and then it just kind of snowballs on you. Had to get it to the back of the cameras, and then we'll come back up front. Carrick, uh, with, the, with the little bit of a shaky start that you guys settled in, how much do you attribute to that, just kind of the arena, the stadium, the setting, and then did you expect something like that? Uh, how satisfying was it to see you guys settle in there, I guess, the second or third inning? Uh, you know, I, I think when you, when you specifically you're talking about Jerome in that situation, and unfortunately that's, that's who he's been. He's been that up and down guy for us all year, and um, when it's really, really good, uh, he can go out and pitch well against anybody. And when he did settle in and all of a sudden the change was working for him and he was pitching both sides of the plate, um, he was able to get himself in a situation where he threw up a couple zeros. Uh, had he started off like that, um, but we're in a different situation. Uh, like I said, uh, I'm looking down here, we gave him nine free bases. Um, I believe Mangum came to the plate uh, for his sixth time in the ninth inning. So, uh, again, when you just by sheer arithmetic, if you get five at-bats in the nine inning game, um, either it's really weird that there's not a lot of runs scored or there's going to be a lot of runs scored and you get more comfortable at the plate the more times you go to it, uh, regardless of who's on the mound and who's pitching. Coach, I noticed that Johnny Johnson was uh, slated to be up here and there was a change. So my question is, how are his spirits? I know he had the error there. He also was a hero for the, for, for the time there with the home run. Talk about his spirits, if you would, and also about his overall performance today. Uh, I, I think I'm sure his spirits are probably good. Um, you know, uh, yeah, it was it was clutch that he came up uh, and got the home run there, and, and you know that was a big hit at that time. Um, but then at the same time, it was a big double play to be turned uh, and, and a fly ball. Um, and so, but that's the nature of the beast. Uh, and so you, you hope that 
uh, he's able to go and turn the page and, and have his mind right for tomorrow. We'll stay on the front row to coach's right. Coach, uh, uh, this time of year is different than the regular season, even in, in weekend series because you're playing a large number of games in a very short, abbreviated time span. Now I'm wondering uh, how that affects your decisions on ball teams and how you use the pitchers. You use four day. What, what kind of spot are you in? Uh, going forward, and then can you talk about just you know what you think about in tournament baseball and how you manage your pitching staff? Well, I think when you're in tournament baseball, it's win or go home. Uh, so you do whatever you need to do to figure out how to how to get that win and, and get uh, put yourself in a position to get a W. Uh, and so I think at, at this point of the year, all bets are off. Uh, we don't we didn't overuse our guys during the course of the year. I think our, our uh, Eli Finney will start for us tomorrow. I think he had 64 innings. Um, so even Connor Ray, our closer, um, who he just gave up his first earned runs of the year today, um, and we didn't overuse him either. So I think you you find the situations that are right for the guys that you have and the makeup of your bullpen, and you use them in those situations. You get them used to those roles throughout the course of the year, and so then when those opportunities present themselves, they already know that hey, this is my spot. This is where I'm going in. They have that expectation, which allows them to go out and be a little bit more successful. Got time for a couple more. We'll go back to the third row to coaches, right? The gentleman in the hat. Coach, on the flip side of that, you got the Mississippi State bullpen fairly early when JT Ian had to come out. Just talk about get the, the hopes y'all had when you were able to get Ian out of the game early. Uh, you know, I think anytime you can get in anybody's bullpen uh, on day one, you can get in there early. That's always a good thing. Um, they run some good guys out of the pen. Uh, and so. Uh, that's the one thing that for me when uh, when I was at Missouri and made the transition from the Big 12 to the SEC was the difference in bullpens and who they're running out of the bullpen. Uh, and so, uh, but again, I think our guys were in a position where they felt really, really good at the plate with what was going on. And we had a good approach today um, and a plan, I should say. And, and guys went out and some guys went out and executed the approach that we had and the plan that we had. So I think as they're rolling guys out there, we're still in that battle mode. And because we've come back, uh, in previous times, we knew that we could always come back and finish the game.